out. So Trump comes out this week, mm -hmm. and um, you know he's he's vowed to seek retribution against his rivals. He's anybody right. who's who he believes has persecuted him on and on and on. So right. uh, if he becomes president again. So he's on with Sean Hannity this week, and they have this exchange uh, during their town hall. Let me play it. Under no circumstances, you are promising America tonight you would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, what? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border, and I want to drill, that's drill, not a, that's, drill. That's not, no, no. that's not retribution. I got I'm going to be... I'm going to be, you know, he keeps... <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border, and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator. So that... Okay, so this, was a f this went on for five minutes. All right, Sean repeatedly tries to get him to just answer the question, um, and, he, and he refused to actually uh, answer the question directly. Um, <laughs> well, he answered the question. He said on just day one, he was joking. He wasn't... I suppose, but he wasn't. I mean, you're but a comedian, he, so judge it by that. <laughs> what was he? I mean, yeah. Well, when he said, "I will uh, seek revenge against my uh, people who, uh, conv or who who uh, convicted," I already convicted him, who charged me, and and mm -hmm. uh, that's the end of rule of law, right? Mm -hmm. What's democracy about if not the rule of law? So he's already said that he will be an autocrat. And he, you know, has said he go, will go root out the vermin in our country. He, he, there, there's no question that this guy, that, and that is what this election in a large part is going to be about. Do we descend back, in, back into, do we send into a, an autocracy? So, um, you know, you would bet uh, with uh, Senator Lindsey Graham uh, that 20 bucks. You said that Biden would win. He said that Trump would win. He supported Trump. Yeah, right? I told so like, I, yeah. I, I told Lindsey then that the guy who actually wins the Electoral College is the winner. And that's why I couldn't understand why he still backs Trump. Do you still have the um, have the confidence that Trump will win? When you, I mean, I'm sorry, that Biden will win when you look at Biden's approval polls, which, I mean, look, I it's understand you. Out. It's a year out. I mean, it's 37%. That's the lowest it's been. Um, but... People will look at his accomplishments. It's a year out. Mm -hmm. uh, he passed the biggest infrastructure bill. Remember, Trump was... I'm a builder, and he, w w every week was infrastructure week, and we couldn't... Got waylaid, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that never happened under him. He... Biggest investment in climate. Um, I, I think... When we get close to the election, this this autocracy mm -hmm. issue will be an enormous issue for Americans, and you know, also they'll look at a, at a, this, yeah. the court that he appointed, and the threat of him appointing more people like that. Yeah. I, I, I think this is going to be a very close election. Um, all right, I got to ask you about George Santos. So he's been parodiedly uh, parodied, parodied. I'm sorry, repeatedly on your former home Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a skit last weekend after he got expelled. Here it is. It seems to me that I live my life like an evil forest gum. I'm the guy who lied even to for Donald Trump and you all got to laugh at me and I say lucky you um okay uh, guy's got a good voice okay now he's making uh he's got he was making charging 250 bucks for every one of his little cameos on cameo now it's 350 bucks we understand okay. six figures he's making well he's gonna have a lot of defense costs because he committed a number of crimes mm -hmm. so um and I guess while he's now it's the time to make some money, I, I guess, for him. But the main thing about this, I like to say, they did the right thing, obviously. But um, this is all they've accomplished. If you think about what hmm. the Republican House has done, they've got, they took 15 ballots to elect a speaker. Then they got rid of that speaker when he voted for a, a CR. Yep. And now, uh, and that's it. That's it. And now they're they're threatening to hold up aid to Israel and to Ukraine over 
a border uh, over a, a bill that would allow uh, separating children from uh, from their parents again in, in immigrant children. I yeah. mean that, that's. Um, I think that's what this the Santos thing highlights is that they've done nothing, hmm. nothing. That's an interesting way of putting it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Senator. I appreciate your time.